The FAA's mission is to provide the safest, most efficient aerospace system in the world. We do. The FAA controls thousands of planes in the air at once, moving hundreds of millions of passengers a year, add in billions of dollars in air cargo, and hundreds of thousands of private pilots, and you have a big challenge. Here's how it's handled. As passengers board a plane, the pilot files a flight plan with an air traffic controller and gets weather information. The plane won't taxi until a ground controller, keeping track of planes all over the airport, okays it. Delta 2412, push approved, advise taxi. That controller will direct the plane along taxiways to the runway where a local controller, also in the tower, takes over. The local controller will safely guide the plane through takeoff and over a set course just beyond the airport's boundaries, where a TRACON controller takes over. The Terminal Radar Approach Control, or TRACON, may be at an airport or at another location that manages the approach and departure for many airports. Unlike tower controllers, TRACON controllers work exclusively from radar and have no windows to see planes, which could be more than 100 miles away. These controllers keep planes separated within about 50 miles of an airport's airspace at altitudes up to 17,000 feet. Beyond that, in-route controllers manage the flights. In-route controllers work at one of 21 air route traffic control centers across the country. Each in-route center is responsible for defined areas of airspace with multiple sectors inside each center's airspace. Even though the sky seems boundless, teams of in-route controllers keep planes flying in lines following fixed ground locations. Pilots stay fully advised as communications are handed off from controller to controller. As tower, TRACON, and en-route controllers focus on planes, management teams help controllers at the Air Traffic Control System Command Center see the big picture. Command Center controllers don't speak directly to pilots. Instead, they coordinate nationally with airlines, fellow controllers, the military, and other users of the airspace to keep things moving safely and efficiently. As a plane descends, it will return to TRACON controllers, who steer it into line with other aircraft approaching the airport from different directions. The local tower controller takes over for the landing, and a ground controller guides the plane back to the gate. That's just a few of the more than 15,000 air traffic controllers keeping America's skies the safest and most efficient in the world.